वेलकम टू यश संपत एजुकेटर हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज राशि एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस वीकली करंट अफेयर सीरीज व्हिच इज फॉर द फोर्थ वीक ऑफ दिसंबर सो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स गो थ्रू द हेडलाइंस फर्स्ट नेशनल मैथमेटिक्स डे 2022 सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन 22nd दिसंबर गुड गवर्नेंस डे 2022 सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन 25th दिसंबर ग्वालियर गौरव दिवस सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन द बर्थ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी Puma India ropes in Anushka Sharma as brand ambassador. Goa to host first ever World Table Tennis Series event in India. Geetu Sora wins Malaysia's Junior International Badminton Championship title. Nikhat Zareen and Lavlina Borhain win gold medals at the Elite National Women's Boxing Championships. Indian scientist Professor Thala Pil Pradeep awarded Win Future a special prize 2022. Indian cyclist Swati Singh gets 30th Eklavya Puraskar. Prabhu Chandra Mishra honored with Atal Samman award. Indian Navy launches INS Arnala anti-submarine warfare shallow water craft. Prale ballistic missiles India's first tactical quasi ballistic missile. ISRO to carry US instrument on board the forthcoming Chandrayaan 3 mission. Bharat Biotech nasal vaccine in Covax to be available at rupees 325 for government hospitals and now let's discuss all these news in details so our first news from the important day section is national mathematics day 2022 national mathematics day is celebrated on december 22 across the nation every year the national mathematics day is marked to recognize and celebrate the works of srinivasa ramanujan Shrinivasa Ramanujan the Indian mathematical genius was born on this day in 1887 this year nation celebrates 135th birth anniversary of ramanujan the main objective behind the celebration of national mathematics day is to make people aware of the development of mathematics and its importance in the growth of people's life our second news is again from the important day section which is of good governance day 2022 Every year in honor of former Indian Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee's birthday India observes Good Governance Day. The day is devoted to former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee. Prime Minister Narendra Modi in 2014 announced that Good Governance Day will be observed annually on December 25th in memory of the former PM. Our third news is also from the important day section which is Gwalior Gaurav Divas. Gwalior Gaurav Divas is celebrated on the birth anniversary of Bharat Ratna Atal Bihari Vajpayee. He is also known as the son of Gwalior. Gwalior Gaurav Divas is celebrated on 25th December. On the occasion of Gwalior Gaurav Divas, Chief Minister Shivraj Singh Chauhan reviewed the participation through video conferencing and appealed to the people of Gwalior to light lamps at their homes on 25th December 2022. Now our next news from the sports section. Puma India ropes in Anushka Sharma as brand ambassador. The manufacturer and designer of casual and athletic footwear, Puma has roped in Bollywood actor and entrepreneur Anushka Sharma as its brand ambassador. The association is intended to accelerate Puma's strong commitment towards women consumer segment. The actor will endorse the brand's footwear, apparel and accessories including select collections through my red activities and brand campaigns throughout the year next news from sports section goa will host india's first ever world table tennis series event from february 27 to march 5th the top tier wtt star contender goa 2023 will take place at the sham prasad mukherjee indoor stadium located at the goa university campus stupa analytics A homegrown sport analytics firm will be the tournament host with active support from the Goa government. Next news from the sport section is Geeta Sora, a rising star in badminton, won the under 9 category of the Top Arena Junior International Badminton Championship in Malaysia, bringing honor to Arunachal and the nation as a whole. 
Jael Tay, the second seed from Malaysia, was defeated by Sora in two sets of 21-5 and 21-16 to win the championship. Next news from a sports section is Nikhat Zarin and Lavlina Borin win gold medals at the Elite National Women's Boxing Championship. Telangana boxing star and the reigning world championship Nikhat Zarin and Lavlina Borin the bronze medalist from the Tokyo Olympics both won gold medal in their separate finals in the Elite Women's National Boxing Championships. The Railway Sports Promotion Board won the team trophy with 10 awards in the 6th Elite Women's National Boxing Championship in Bhopal. Now our next news is from Award and Honor sections. Professor Thala Pil Pradeep, Indian scientist, India Institute of Technology, Madras, received Win Future Special Prize on 20th December 2022 in Hanoi. Professor Thala Pil Pradeep was awarded for the innovation of a low-cost filtration system to remove arsenic and other heavy metals from groundwater. Next news from Award and Honours is Eklavya Puraskar Indian cyclist Swati Singh has been honoured with the prestigious 30th Eklavya Puraskar of for the year 2022. The award is instituted by IMFA Charitable Wing Impact. Swati received a cash award of Rs 5 lakhs along with a citation at the Eklavya Puraskar function held in Bhuvneshwar. She has backed two gold and as many silver medals at the national level. Swati, who has represented the state in several national events and was credited with the best individual brilliance from April 1, 2020 to March 31, 2022, emerged as the clear winner this year nationals. Next news from Award and Honours Prabhu Chandra Mishra honoured with Atal, Atal Samman Award. Prabhu Chandra Mishra, honoured with Atal Samman Award. On the birth anniversary of former Prime Minister of the country Atal Bihari Vajpayee, many personalities who played an important role in various fields were honoured at Vigyan Bhavan, New Delhi during 9th Atal Samman Samaro. Prabhu Chandra Mishra has been awarded Atal Samman Award for his excellence in field of science and research. His area of work is stem cell and regenerative medicine in infertility especially when IVF also fails. The diseases like premature ovarian failure, thin endometrium, Asherman syndrome, etc. have shown satisfactory results with body's own cells. PRP and bone marrow drive stem cell research have shown promising hope for these patients and couples who were struggling for their own child. Next news from Defense Section the Indian Navy launched Arnala, the first of the eight indigenously built anti-submarine warfare shallow water craft at the shipbuilding facility of LNT in Chennai's Kattupalli. Built by Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers GRSE, Arnala made its first contact with the water of the Bay of Bengal. Next news from Defence is Prele Ballistic Missile the decision by the Defence Ministry to procure indigenous short-range ballistic surface-to-surface -surface missile prele, a conventional weapon that has become ready for induction in just seven years, gives Indian military the theft gives Indian military the heft to its war fighting capabilities. A high-level meeting of the Defence Ministry cleared the acquisition of around 120 prele missile for the armed forces and their deployment along the borders. India now permits the use of ballistic missiles in tactical roles, therefore, the acquisition of these ballistic missiles is considered a significant development for the nation. Now our next news from Science and Technology. Indian Space Research Organization forthcoming Chandrayaan-3 mission will carry scientific instruments of the United States of America. The Chandrayaan Mission 2 also carried American scientific instruments. This information was given by the Union Minister of State Independent Charge, Science and Technology, Atomic Energy and Space, Dr. Jitendra Singh in the Rajya Sabha. Next news from Science and Technology. Bharat Biotech's Incovac is the world's first intranasal vaccine for COVID to receive approval for the primary second dose schedule and as a heterologous booster dose. Bharat Biotech International announced that Incovac 
is scheduled to be introduced in the country as a booster dose shortly. Incovac is now available on Covin and priced at Rs 800 plus GST for private market and priced at Rs 325 plus GST for supplies to government of India and state governments. So friends, this is all for this current affairs series. Hope this series will helpful for you. Thank you so much.